Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. So there's a lot going on with this one. Let's get right into it, shall we? So the first thing again, like you saw in the previous episode, we're going to try a lot of stuff in here. We're just going to try and throw some random stuff at the wall. And we can actually see a hint on this page. Why did I include this hint? I included this because there's a lot of filters in here. Now this is a very lifelike situation. This is something that you might actually encounter in real life. And I think some of you bug bounty hunters who have found cross site scripting attack vectors might be able to confirm this for me. I have found something similar to this kind of complexity before. So as you can see, script tags are filtered out, SVG tags are filtered out, confirms are filtered out, alerts are filtered out, spaces are filtered out. It seems like I got this right, but nothing could be further from the truth because there are a couple of attack factors here that I can try. Now I never say anywhere that this needs to be interactionless so you can still have some interaction which is required which will allow me to for example insert a link. Now I also say that spaces are forbidden in this case so whenever I try to enter a space for example uh, href equals test.com uh, but, but there we go. If I search for that, as you can see, nothing happens because it's URL encoded now. However, there's a couple of things that you can try to get around that space filtering. For example, it's slash, which is not in this case, but you can try a null byte, for example. So if there's a null byte in this case, as you can see, it does get filtered out and this stuff does change into a link now this is not the intended solution this is something that somebody else found so really good find on that one what the intended solution was in this case is that for example you can use an image source equals x um, but of course you can't use a you can't use all of these spaces you can't use the on error equals alert you need to use a confirm you might think but confirms also not it because it's also blocked so you might be thinking what else do i have well, what I really wanted you to think is, how can I get a valid cross-site scripting vulnerability without this confirm or alert stuff? Because you need to think a little bit further and see what kind of impact you have. Now, in this case, it's not much. It's just a prompt. There's no extra impact here. Um, but as you can see, it's not taking again because I don't have the space thing in here. So again, I'm going to replace spaces with null byte percent zero zero. But as you can see, that's still not going to work because there's more filtering on this page. Now, if I try that again, what the real filtering is also about is it's, it's filtering out these image uh, tags as well. But the thing is that it's doing everything to lowercase. So what you might have is if you want to subvert your cross-site scripting filters, is you might try something like a camel case like image equals but that's also not going to work in this case because as you can see image is still being filtered out so what it is in this case is the thing is it's filtering out the image tags but it's filtering them out before putting this whole string to lower case so what that means is it's filtering this tag out and it's also filtering the capital i image tag out but Whenever I put any other letter in a capital, it's not going to filter that out. And bam, we have our cross-site scripting attack factor. I know my mind is a little bit twisted, but I hope I've shown you some cross-site scripting filter evasion techniques with this one. Thank you very much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope I will see you in the next one. I wish you a million bucks on your next buck hunting journey, and I wish you a beautiful day. Bye, amazing hackers.